Hey guys, uh, back with my third video in my radiation detector series. And this video will be covering the, um, um, sorry, Canberra MRAD 103. And this is a gamma only dosimeter. Um, there was a predecessor designed for the military um, that also had a neutron counter in it, but, or a fast neutron counter. I don't think it passed muster, but um, I think they actually ended up finding a use for this guy without a neutron counter in a civilian and law enforcement and like first responder use. Um, and I got this guy for 200 bucks on eBay. Um, I really wanted a gamma only dosimeter, so I put up the cash. Um, but anyway, and, and also it's very rugged and it's waterproof, which is great. Um, I really like this thing. It also has an infrared port on the side. Um, so you can interface it with a computer and program it and stuff. Um, it's worth mentioning that in an effort to reverse engineer the protocol to interop or to, so I get this thing to interoperate with Linux, I accidentally bricked the unit when the software froze. Um, so if you have one of these that you'd let me play with to reverse engineer the protocol and write some new tools for, or if you have one that you'd be willing to give me for spare parts or anything else, I just need to replace the circuit board on this, um, I would very much appreciate it. Um, but anyway, on with the uh, the analysis of the device minus the plea. Um, this here is the spot where the buzzer can is where the buzzer lives. Um, they also have a vibrator motor kind of under where this plus symbol is. Uh, it's here in the nose. This guy um, actually is the uh, Canberra MRAD 103, um, which means it doesn't have the buzzer. Um, the 113 does. Just so you know, um, so the model numbers for this guy are kind of interesting for the MRAD. The one is the the first digit is the color. The second digit is whether or not it has a buzzer, and then the last digit I think is the units that it displays. The three goes in micro rankins per hour, um, or in rankins. But anyway, so power it up. Oh right, um, takes four double A's. Here's the battery door, and it has this handy little thing on which I've attached a lanyard. Um, you can get a belt clip for it or this like handy cloth pouch um, that can be used to like suspend it from a strap. Uh, I don't have either of those things, so it's just the unit as you see here. So I'll go ahead and power it on. We'll do a little power on self check. Um, it takes a couple of minutes for the readings to stabilize. Um, but uh, just to cover some of the general operation of this guy, um, you can see that the alarming mode's on, that it will do audible alarms and visual alarms. So the audible alarms will be beeps, um, and the visual alarms here on the left is for the rate. Um, so this will actually flash green if it hits the low threshold and start beeping. Um, you can hit the clear button and it'll stop beeping. Um, but if you hit the upper threshold for rate, it'll go red and the beeping will not stop, even if you hit clear. Uh, and the same thing goes for the dose, so if you click the dose button, it'll actually tell you your accumulated dose. Um, I'm not able to reset it. So it's actually got kind of a high dose from me measuring samples. Uh, that was the side effect of my little uh, experiment trying to learn the or decode the protocol, the infrared protocol. Um, it crashed when I um, set it so that the user can't clear the dose. And now I'm not able to access the uh, infrared port anymore. <laughs> so I can't change that setting back. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but anyway, it's also got a light. It's got, it's actually a pretty dim backlight. It's blue. You can't even tell if it's on. Anyway, um, and it's also got a kind of a cool function here. Um, so if you hold down rate, it has this thing that it, that the manual calls source finder mode. And basically it'll just click like a Geiger counter every time it gets a detection event. So what I'll do is I'll grab my cesium-137 sample here and leave it in the case. I'll show you. You can actually hear it, and you can see the uh, numbers incrementing. There's my low level alarm. There's my high level alarm. So if I turn rate off, and I've actually got um, I've actually got the alarms set really low on this guy, um, just because I want to know if I'm near anything that's putting off any amount of radiation. Yep, and so you see that the light here on the left is flashing. Now that I've cleared it from that higher radiation field, I hit clear, and it'll stop. 
Um, the alarms are latching, so you have to hit clear to get them to stop once you've cleared the radiation field. Um, and the same thing with the dose. Um, it also has a logging function. I think it is if you hold down these two. There we go. So it stored sample one, the next sample up is sample two. So it actually stored the current dose rate and the dose amount. Um, and this guy's pretty cool. It's got like a really small um, Geiger-Muller tube. Um, I actually wrote a plus on here to show where the center of the Geiger tube is, more or less. And there's one on the back that also shows where the center is. Um, yeah, but anyway, it's a, it's a nifty little instrument. Um, I really like it. But yeah, um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, it's also um, waterproof resistant-ish. I wouldn't submerge it in water, but uh, it's actually pretty pretty darn sealed all the way around. But yeah, uh, and it's also lightweight and fits in pockets, which is really great. Another reason I really like it versus other instruments. But yeah, so that's uh, Canberra MRAD 103. Cheers.